fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Deluxe Kamen Rider Sound Core ID Set 04 from Kamen Rider Geats. This time around we are getting Nudge, Sparrow, and Hakubi. Up here it shows the, uh, like, wishes. Uh, Hakubi didn't get one because she en entered during the Desire Royale, so she did not get a wish. But here is Nudge Sparrow's wish and those cards are included in here as well. This also shows that four LR44 watch batteries are included, so you do not have to provide your own batteries for this set, which is nice. Not really anything going on over there. Over here, just kind of showing you the contents, the two core IDs and the two desire cards. And then over here on the back, just showing you the phrases. Of course, you can pop them in the driver and use them with various buckles and whatnot. So i uh, going to go ahead, get everything out of the packaging here, and we'll take a closer look. All right, so here is everything you get in the box. We'll take a look at these real quick. Uh, the Desire Royale one has the logo, which is kind of a neat logo. You have the eye and then the bird head, and then the eye is kind of made to look like the body and the tail. Kind of an interesting logo. Uh, Desire Royale here. Nothing on the back. Like I said, uh, Hakubi did not get a wish. So there's that. And then here is the DGP card for Nudge Sparrow. And here his uh, his wish here on the back. And again, I don't, I don't know what this says. So if you, uh, if you do know, feel free to let me know in the comments. Uh, in the previous videos, people have been really great about telling me what the wishes have been in the comments. So thank you so much. Please keep that up. But there we go. <laughs> those are those two cards. I'm going to put them off to the side. And then we are into our two new sound core IDs. So I guess we'll start here with Nudge Sparrow. It is this kind of tannish brown kind of off-white color uh with the nudge sparrow logo here done with kind of a brown paint which looks pretty good uh it is thicker or i should say deeper however you want to look at this uh than a normal core id does still fit in the desire driver no problem uh you just pop off this little plastic piece so you can pull the tab out and that if you ever needed to change the batteries you would just unscrew this little panel right here you can almost kind of see the two batteries there underneath Pull the tab out there and then pop this back on. And then you just hit the button. You just kind of push this whole piece in. The speaker is right here on the sides. Uh, and there are 15 different phrases. I think that's all of them. I think that's gone all the way around. Uh, so 15 phrases, uh, if you hold it down, you'll say Henshin, they all do. Uh, so that's kind of cool. That's pretty much it for it, though, honestly. Um, nothing new in the driver when you pop it in. It just says Entry. I mean, I could show it to you guys, but I feel like you get it by this point. It's not really anything new. You pop it in the driver. It says Entry. Uh, Nudge Sparrow used Monster a lot. I just brought that out uh, for the last one of these that I did. Uh, I, I don't think I'm going to bring the driver out again. Again, I think you guys get it. It's just kind of the same sounds. Uh, everything that's new is contained in this. It does not get anything new out of the driver or any of the raise buckles. It is literally contained to this. 
It is 15 phrases, and then I guess the, the bonus 16th phrase of him saying henshin. So that's it for that one. And then if we come over here to Hakubi. Okay, I think we've gone all the way around there. Uh, so obviously this one is done in black plastic. Same thing, you would pop the cover off, the batteries are underneath, pull the tab out before you can use it, and then pop this back on. Uh, but it looks really sharp. You know, I think the white paint is really nice. They did a good job with the opacity, uh, because a lot of times when they're painting on darker plastic, it's hard for the, like, full white to show. Sometimes it takes a couple coats of paint to really make it as opaque as it should be. And I think they did a good job here, so I do like that. And it looks really sharp. But yeah, that's kind of it for these two. Like I said, of course, they do fit in the driver. You pop it in. It says entry. You can use whatever buckles you want. Uh, they will not bring any new sounds other than what they produce themselves. Oh, and I forgot to do her henshin sound. Henshin. So there you go. But yeah, I mean, they're nice. You know, if you if you enjoy one of these two characters, you get a lot of nice phrases. So I think it is good in that regard. But they don't really bring anything new to the toys that you have. They just kind of work in conjunction with them. So that's going to do it for these. Uh, I didn't bring out the other roleplay items because I feel like I've done four of these now. And these don't enhance those toys in any way. Every time you put a core ID in the desired driver, it's going to say entry. Whatever buckle you use, it's going to be the same sound you've heard before. So... The driver has no idea which core ID you have in there, and these don't change that, so I kind of just felt like, you guys get it by now. I'm not going <laughs> to go through that all over again. But like I said, there's been four of these now. I think this is the last one. I don't think they're doing any more, and my position on them really hasn't changed since the first set that I reviewed. If they did one for your favorite character and you want to grab that set, I think it's fun. I think they're decent for what they are. Um... You know, you get 15 phrases, you get the henshin phrase. Do you need all four sets? I personally don't think so. I mean, if you want them, by all means, go ahead, enjoy. They're not terribly overpriced. I think they were like 20 to 25 before fees and shipping and all that. So they're not super expensive. So that's good. Um, they try to, you know, bulk it up a little bit by throwing these cards in. And they're fine. They're nice, again, for what they are little display pieces, or if you're into cosplay, maybe you could use them for that. Um, otherwise, you know, maybe if you're building a really cool Geats display and you want to kind of put them in the back of the bookshelf and then put everything else in front of them, something like that could be neat. For me personally, they I just kind of put them back in the box and forget about them, honestly. But they're, they're neat. But, you know, do I need eight of them at this point? No, probably not. Uh, but again, if you have a favorite character, I would say grab that set. There's nothing wrong with these. They're just... They don't do much. You get 15 phrases, technically 16 with the henshin sound, and that's it. So just know what you're getting going in. I don't think you'll be disappointed if you can find them for a reasonable price. Go ahead and grab them. Or like I said, if they made one for your favorite character, go ahead and grab that set. But honestly, do you need all four? I personally would say no, but your mileage will vary. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.